humans, I'm you, Schiller, and welcome back to my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild walkthrough. Woo! Alright, I'm thinking in this part I'll go ahead and continue on with the downloadable content of this game because I'm in the part of this walkthrough where I've done pretty much everything else. In the previous part of this walkthrough, I went ahead and showcased what the amiibo do in this game and I got myself a special horse named Epona. And then as you can see there in the top right corner, I've already collected all 900 Korok seeds. Woo! And I got the, uh, special reward you get for collecting them all. For more about that, please refer to the previous part. Okay. So now, oh yeah, there we go. We load the game with a close-up of my new horses, but, but yeah, this is Epona. You get this horse for tapping in special amiibo. So what do you say I go ahead and bring this horse back to the stable? You can also see that I have a fancy face mask and I'm carrying a boomerang, but anyway. I'm thinking for this part, in order to continue on with more of the DLC, before I take on the Champion's Ballad, before I take on the main quest, basically, I'll go ahead and take on all of the remaining side quests. Or most of them. I think there's one I'm not going to do just yet, but all of these other ones, the ones that get me gear and saddles and whatnot, I'm going to take those on now. So, to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and head to the Highland Stable, and we'll go ahead and see where I can find whatever the side quest entails. And for more information about the side quest that I'll be doing, please refer to the timestamps in the description down below in case you want to see me do a specific side quest. Alright, where is the Highland Stable? I'm a dunce, the yellow dot was right on top of it, and that's my excuse as to why I didn't see it. I thought it was too obvious. But okay, to the Highland Stable. I'll see you later, Epona. But this first DLC side quest I'm doing should, in theory, allow me to summon Epona whenever I want. So we're going to go ahead and look at this in greater detail. Here we are! The Highland Stable, baby! Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, there's a book here that will tell me all the information that I need to know with regards to the upcoming DLC side quest that I'm about to do. This must be it, Super Rumor Mill EX Volume 3. I've loved rumors since before I was born. In fact, I was the first to report on my rumored birthday. Tracy here. This time, I've got a juicy bite of gossip I've been dying to share. Ancient horse gear is real, and it's fabulous! Apparently, there's some incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking the long, long ago, folks. A bridle that increases your horse's skill, and a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree on a mountain where creatures gather. The saddle is at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. I think I know exactly where this is referring to. At least that's what the rumors say. Alright, five star recommendation, huh Tracy? Well, I'm gonna go get it. Alright. So I'm going to get a bridle and a saddle for my horse, and allegedly, this will allow my horse to be stronger, and it will allow me to teleport the horse directly to me. So, I think I accidentally found, or almost found, one of these chests by mistake while I was collecting Korok seeds. And what I'm about to do, yeah, it's where the Lord of the Mountain is. I can't actually sense him, though, because this will never actually pull him up. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's where this Lord of the Mountain usually is, and unfortunately the Hyrule Compendium won't actually tell me that, but I do recall there's a spring. I almost picked up this treasure chest by mistake, but I said, no, nope, I want to get it recorded. But there's this, there's a, it's, at night there's a glowing light. I, I, I have to remember, this map is so big. That's the problem with these games. They're so big you forget where minor things are, but now the minor things are becoming major things, and that's not a fault of the game, that's a fault of me for forgetting. Uh, this might be it. No, hang on. Hang on, it's by a spring. It's, yeah, it's, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, because right up here, right around, it's it, one of these bodies of water right around here is the exact spring. So I'm going to go ahead and warp back here. And there is a cherry blossom tree here with a treasure chest right in front of it. So, this is exactly where I want to go. And then I'll read what the other treasure chest clue is in a moment. I think it's right around here too. It's, right, it's where the beasts gather and it's underneath a... Oh, no, no. One is by the cherry blossom tree, and one is by the horse fairy, is, I think is what it said, right? By the horse fairy god? Well, I meant that horse fairy god, and I have a better idea of where that is. But yeah, here we go. Korok seeds are around here. I mean, there's 900 Korok seeds in the game. They're everywhere. You can even see that little guy up there. All right. So let me go ahead and... Oops. Let me set this to locate... How do I... Oh, I got to back out of it. Let me go ahead and set this to locate treasure chests, because that'll help me find it more easily, I hope. This can potentially get annoying, because it's going to keep beeping every couple of seconds if there are other random treasure chests around here. But if I am in the correct location and the DLC treasure chest is around here, then that means that I should be able to find it easier. Or more easily. Okay. Yeah, right over here. At night time, this is where the, 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 the Lord shows up. That one animal I previously had highlighted. But right here is at least where this treasure chest is. 
So yeah, I found this first one nice and easy, but this DLC side quest isn't done until I locate the other one. Let me go ahead and get this real quick. Boom. Here we go. All right, we got Ancient Bridal, baby! Equipping a horse with this will maximize their abilities, increasing the number of spurs associated with them. Nice! Okay, and I'll go ahead and pick those up too. Why the heck not? So the next part, the next bit of this is at a spring where, hor where a horse spirit resides. Yeah, 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 horse spirit, horse fairy. I know exactly where that is, and I'll go there right now. So I totally didn't just spend the past five minutes trying to remember where this area is and look for it. No, of course not. It's at the Lake of the Horse God by the southern part of the Hyrule map, obviously. Anyway, now that I clearly know where this next part is, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the Horse Fairy. It's just been a while since I've had to visit the Horse Fairy, you know, and I know I revisited him at the end of the 101st part of this walkthrough. Dang, what a sentence. At the end of the 101st part of this walkthrough. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be referencing that part a lot in this walkthrough because there are one or two pieces of equipment for DLC that I've already found that will fall under this. That'll be, a, that I'll explain when I get to it. All right, Horse God Bridge, just gotta keep going. Hello, you, you're gonna be a problem. I'm gonna fight you with a random weapon. How about that? I'm gonna chuck this at you! Oh yeah! You're gonna be the first of many enemies that I'm gonna be fighting in this part. I already know that to be the case. You're going down there? Are you dead? I think you fell in the water. Alright, well then he- oh, nope, nope, you're still here. I was gonna say then you're no longer my problem. Well, goodbye, now you're definitely dead. I can't really take your belongings, but I'll take your bow. That's part of your belongings, so I'll count that as compensation. Thank you for the quick battle. Get me back into the swing of things, huh? Anyway, this is definitely where the horse fairy is. I'm hoping the treasure chest wasn't back over where I just was and that it actually is over here because this is a horse fairy, horse god thing. And my radar is telling me that there is a treasure chest over here. I just don't actually know where. I'm using stasis to try and make it pop out more easily because all treasure chests can be hit a bunch of times with stasis. They're a movable object. Let me just read this again. Make sure I got the specifics. Here we go. And the other is at a spring where a horse spirit resides. I mean, it could be referring to the Lord of the Mountains again. It's at a spring, but that's not... I guess that is a spring. It was a body of water. But but then it would just say that both treasure chests are there, right? I'm pretty sure it's referring to this place. A spring where a horse spirit resides. Well, let me find what treasure chest is here with my horse... With my... Not horse radar. With my treasure radar. Is there one behind here? In this direction? Ah, that's it right there. Yeah, there's a little there's a little glowing light on it. See, you, you can see the light light shining down on it. Look at that. Isn't that kind of cool? That's kind of cool. That's to indicate that this is a super special treasure chest, and I'm gonna open it right now. This should give me the saddle. There we go. Ancient saddle, a mysterious saddle made with foreign technology or forgotten technology. I'm sorry. So that side quest is done. Hooray. So that me well okay. Let me go ahead and put these. To put this bridle and put this saddle on one of my horses, preferably Epona, because that way, if I'm reading this correctly, I can call Epona to me wherever I am, regardless of how far away the horse is. So let's go ahead and warp back to here and let's try this out. What do you mean you can't put all this new gear on Epona? <sighs> ah, that's okay. Epona's supposed to be a pure horse anyway, right? I got plenty of other horses in which this gear will still be applicable. Let me go ahead and uh, get Pop Tart out. Yeah, Pop-Tart, my first horse! She's been with me for a while. Here we go. We've got Scotch Mill, a cup. Uh, do I want to make it... Graham? No, no, no. It should be Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart should be my ace, my, my original horse. And Epona is just like a special horse. And then Graham is my power horse. And Scotch Mellow is just a backup horse. Don't take it personally, Scotch Mellow. Being backup is still an important position in most games and sports and events. Okay. Let's go ahead and decorate my horse properly. At least, at least this way you won't have any more flowers on your butt. There we go. Oh, you're saying, oh. Did you do this last time? I don't recall this being a thing. Ooh, that's a mighty fine horse you have there. Thank you. If you're interested, may I help you change your horse's gear or mane? Yeah. Did I have to get off the horse last time? I don't remember. Has it been that long since I've customized a horse? Aww. Dang, and maybe it has been over a year. Okay, this one's eyes are positively sparkling with affection. That's correct. That's the spirit. This is my first horse. All right. Now for the decoration time. So, let's change the bridle. Let's see. It should be probably the bottom of this one, right? Yeah, there we go. The ancient bridle. This will maximize the stats. I could, I, I could always decorate the other horses with the other bridles and saddles maybe later. 
There we go. And then we need the ancient saddle. There we go. So now your stats are maxed out, and I can summon you from wherever I am. Ah, let's change the main while we're at it. Let's see. Will any of these even make that much of a difference? Not really. Oh, that one changes your color. Green looks nice. Blue, I wish was more of a true blue. A sky blue, but that's okay. This is kind of like a blue-green. Red could look good. Actually, let me make it blue because that way it better matches your armor. And while your armor does have some red-orange on it, I think I prefer you in blue because I'll be wearing some green. And I think the, this blue might actually mesh the best. Thought about seeing the other colors. Maybe purple. No, we'll go with blue. Again, still wish it was a true blue, but that's okay. There you go. Maybe I'll change this later. I'm not certain. But you look good, Pop-Tart. You look good and you're safe. You don't have to worry about getting shot by a laser and immediately dying again, I hope. I'm hoping that that bridle at least boosts your defense. Okay, let's go somewhere far away and try testing out this the new ability where I can summon you wherever I am. This ought to be far enough. All right, here we go. What do you mean it seems Pop-Tart isn't able to come? Isn't, doesn't it make her appear in front of me or is it just like, oh, you get a little bit of extra distance than you had before. Let me read the exact fine print of this saddle. Equip a horse with this and use the down on the D-pad button to call them. Yeah. Let me, let me go into a more open space and see if that's the problem. Maybe it's a little hard for Pop-Tart to fit, to fit through there. There we go. That's more what I was expecting. Hooray. I now have the ability to press down on my D-pad and immediately summon a horse. I shall call this ability Instant Horse. Well, Pop-Tart, it's been fun posing with you, but I have to get back to work. So, let me go ahead and look at the next DLC side quest, which is Royal Guard Rumors. Apparently, Riverside Stable has a copy of Super Mill, Super Rumor Mill EX. All right, so I have to go to the Riverside, Riverside Stable. How far away is that? Hmm, I could warp there. But I think it's just a simple horse ride away, no? What do you say we go for a quick ride, Pop-Tart? Yay! I'm in the after game with downloadable content, and I'm even more overpowered than I was before because I have an instant horse ability. Woo! Okay, we are closing in. Thank you for the ride, Pop-Tart. You look pretty with that gear on. All right, let's go ahead and find the Super Rumor Mill volume, huh? What have we got here? Volume 4! Okay, I'm reading these out of order, but I am trying to make sure that I read them in the order in which the side quests are listed. So let me take this from the top. I'm here, I'm at the stable, I got my horses, and I'm gonna do this side quest right here, which is gonna be Super Rumor Mill Volume 4. I'm doing the side quests in the order in which they're listed here, not in the order in which the Super Rumor Mills are around. Alright, Volume 4. Let's go ahead and give this a read, huh? From the moment I wake to the moment I sleep, my mind is full of rumors, even my dreams are gossipy. Tracy here. You fine folks keep up with dream rumors too, don't you? Well, this one's so good it might as well be a dream. Listen up, history buffs. This tidbit is about the brave soldiers who were tragically wiped out during the Great Calamity. The Royal Guards who protected the Royal Family! Amongst Hyrule's soldiers, only the best of the best had the honor of guarding the Royal Family. Apparently, the equipment they wore can still be found somewhere in Hyrule Castle. Dining hall, guards chamber, and on the second floor. On the second floor? What kind of hint is that? All right, but they're all at Hyrule Castle, a big complex location. Now, as I discussed in part 101 of this walkthrough, I've already found one of these parts by mistake, but I will go ahead and proceed to find the other two parts right now. So it said it was on the second floor of the castle, I figured this is about a second floor as it gets, if not lower. So, I will work my way down, but I think it's referring to this place. Yeah, there's a there's a DLC treasure chest over to the right. Can I do anything with this? No, because I know right beneath me is technically where the final boss battle would take place. And this is supposed to drop from the ceiling or something. Okay, well let's sneak around this. And let's go ahead and get this. There we go. Boom, baby! Got the Royal Guard cap. Okay, so I've got the cap, the boots, now all I need is the vest, I think is what it's called. So the last piece was said to be by the dining hall. And if I recall correctly, oopsies. If I recall correctly, the entrance to the dining hall was right here. Great. Let's go on in and let's go ahead and look for some treasure chests. Ooh, you guys gonna finish these? Cause I'm really hungry, I'm really low on health. I'm just gonna wolf down a bunch of raw meat. Thank goodness Link has an iron stomach. I guess you develop that when you're asleep for a hundred years. There you go, eating all the meat. And I know there are gonna be there are gonna be people complaining, Oh, you should have cooked it, but no! I'm hungry, man! 
And for some reason, eating raw meat like that does not affect me. Link's the type of person to eat random food at most gag for a half second and then swallow it anyway with no consequences. Alright, here we go. Boom. I don't have to destroy you, but I want to destroy you! Ah! Alright. Now, getting all of these moblin fangs and guts and horns is good and all, but I'm really just looking for a treasure chest. Said it was in the dining hall, right? I'm not seeing anything in the dining hall. Let me double check if it had any other specifics. Second floor, guard chamber, near near the dining hall is what it said. Near the dining hall? Come on, man, near the dining hall? That could be anything. All right, let me set this back to treasure chest. Took it off for a second. There we go, boom. Okay, near the dining hall. This whole castle's near the dining hall. Okay, which, which, which way near? Because there are a dozen treasure chests inside this castle, and this radar could be directing me toward any of them. Mmm, I don't really want to go down here. While that might still be considered near the dining hall, I think I already got a treasure chest over in that general area anyway. That's where I got the boots, I think. So, let's continue looking around. Yeah, here we go. Break this open. This is near the dining hall, right? Is there something in here? Yes! This is exactly what I need. Ooh, what's this? Royal Guard Sword? I haven't picked up a Royal Guard Sword previously? Alright, whatever. And now we get the Royal Guard Uniform! Oh, it is called a uniform and not a vest. That would make sense. Alright, well, what do you say I go ahead and put on the whole garb right now? Take a little bit of a panoramic shot. I'm not actually going to take any pictures. I'm just going to spin the camera around real briefly. And then we go ahead and take on the next quest. So I'll... You need them all next to each other. There we go. The cap, the uniform, and the boots. My charge attack stamina up. So if I were to do a spinny attack, I'd have more stamina, I guess. I'm not going to experiment with that right now. But hey, there you go. This is what the uniform looks like. I have it. And chances are, all the DLC costumes can't be modified in terms of color or power-ups anyway. So this is how it's going to look on anyone that gets it. So if you want to look like this, you can. For now, I'm going to leave the castle and take on the next side quest. All right, where were we? What's next on the list? Because that's the order I'm going in. Merchant Hood. Somewhere in the Day of Village Ruins is a journal that places the location of this treasure. Okay, so I have to head to the Day of Village Ruins and look for a notebook there. So I'm not heading to a stable this time. All right, I have to head to the yellow dot, and this tower seems to be the closest mark to this yellow dot. And because it's a tower, I should just be able to glide to the location from here. Yay! Aw, oh, man, it's so nice seeing that I have all 900 Korok seeds and that I don't have to worry about that ever again. Ugh, Ugh that was such a tedious task, but I'm glad it's over. Anyway, here we go. I'm not looking for Korok seeds in this part. I'm looking for masks and other random stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and get this clue, huh? We'll get the clue, and then I'll get the mask, and then I'll be out of here. But this doesn't look like village ruins. I think the village ruins were a little further away than I thought. So maybe once I get to the ground, I'll go ahead and summon my horse. I'll use the horse to get closer to the location, and then we'll be good to go. Ah, oh, this horse summoning thing is so good. I love it. Ready? Here we go. Let's go ahead and give my horse a call. Pop-Tart, I love you! Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom, baby. Hey, I look pretty good with this uniform while you have that saddle and bridle on. I know I could put on actual ancient gear and make myself look more like a guardian, but hey. I think this combination goes well together, too. Oh, whoa, you jumped over that. I didn't, I didn't tell you to do that. Good job, Pop-Tart. Good job. Oh... I did try to tell you to go around that tree. Okay, I, I should be petting you more often when I actually say good job, huh? Okay. Let's go on up here. Or as far as you can go, Pop-Tart. There's a wall or a cliff or something that I, I may have to part ways with you for now. But that's okay. You're just one whistle away at this point. Here we go. Alright, yeah, I think, Pop-Tart, I don't think you're going to go down there. So, I'll part ways for you with that. I'll part ways with you for now. I will catch you later. Okay, yellow dot. Are you sure there's a book around here? Or it's just the raw treasure chest around here? I think it's just the raw treasure No, it said there was a book around here. Which means doing this won't actually help me. But the yellow dot is right here and my treasure radar is not going off. So this must be where the book is. Yeah, that's correct. This book is here. Was this book always here? I doubt it. But let's go ahead and read it anyway. I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. Miss Gil. Okay. The Traveling Merchant's Hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozo Lake. So that's the one I'm going to get next, at the Spring of Courage. 
The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Minotes River was born. Okay, I guess that one will come afterward. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees south of Dueling Peaks. South of Dueling Peaks, I know where that is. The evil spirit's armor is hidden within Farron's Sea of Trees. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls of Lake Floria. Whoa. At the bri Oh, okay, each individual piece. Highest of three waterfalls at the bridge between the waterfalls at the Broken Stone Bird of Ibarra Forest. Okay, well, thankfully this will all save in my side quest log. All right. Cool, I read all that. Merchant Hood. We're gonna, we're, that one's gonna be up next. Let's see. In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Rokozu Lake. So I have to head to the Spring of Courage? Well, I am now back at the Spring of Courage. And it was saying that this cap was in the right hand of the dragon of it. Now, come to think of it, let me, let me read this again. Right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage. Okay, come to think of it, this big rock formation that is above where I am right now, I, I guess is a dragon. It always looked like something, but I don't think I've ever seen the full thing. So if I am to believe that this is a dragon, then in theory, the exact treasure piece that I'm looking for should be in its so-called right hand or whatever resembles a right hand. So let me get to the top of this so I can see which way is the front because that's going to determine whether or not I'm currently on the correct side or the incorrect side. All right, so this must be the front. This must be the dragon's head. Let me verify that it's, that it's a head and not a tail. There we go. Yeah, that's a dragon's head, which means that's your right hand, which means my treasure radar going off should indicate that this is the piece that I am looking for. Yes, I mean, that's a treasure chest. Hopefully it's the exact one I need. Yep, that looks like a DLC treasure chest that clipped through the ceiling for a sec, but that's okay. We got Ravio's hood! That's the guy from Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. He might be in A Link to the Past as well. I haven't, I'm not entirely sure, but he's definitely in A Link Between Worlds. Tell you what, what do you say I go ahead and put this on real quick, because it's going to look really silly. Oh my god. Can you imagine if I just started the part with this? Maybe I'll start the next part with this, I don't know. Out of context, if I saw... Oh my goodness, I'm getting attacked. If I saw someone playing the game with this on, and just nothing else was explained, I'd be like, what happened? Thank goodness I know that this is a character from A Link Between Worlds. Okay, I should probably get out of here. This is not doing me too much justice. Huh? I'm getting attacked by an, <laughs> by an enemy. But okay, I got Rabia's hood. <sighs> on to the next side quest, huh? Let me see. What is the next side quest? Garb of Winds, where the Minote River was born. Where the Minote River was born. So probably a lake of some sort. Which one of these is the Minote River? This is the Minote River! So if this is where the river starts, then in theory, the treasure chest that I should be trying to find should be at the innermost part of it, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, Lake Tower. Yeah, that makes sense. It would be near a place called Lake Tower. Cora Lake. All right. Well, this is as far in as the lake goes. So let's see if there's a treasure chest there. To the red mark! Oh, man, you have no... Oh. You have no idea how silly this is. Look at this. I'm wearing a freaking rabbit helmet. And I'm flying through the sky and I'm the strongest thing in the land right now. It's crazy. Alright. So I've been over here before. There's a Korok here. Alright. So it's probably in this cave. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna put on my Zora gear because that'll help me swim better. It'll make me stronger against water. Here we go. I'm not a rabbit anymore. Come on. Into the cave. Actually, I think it's a dead end in the cave. I don't know if there's actually any solid platforms. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Okay, yeah, that, that's a dead end in there. I have no reason to actually go in here. Okay, so maybe the treasure chest isn't over here. Let me work backwards a bit. Is there anything else over here? Oh, well, there is a treasure chest here. I may as well get it. Oh, and there's an Octorok shooting at me too. Great! Okay, let's go ahead and get a little closer. I could do without the Octorok. Oh, thank you for that, buddy. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude. Nope. Do you mind? Thank you. Yeah, get that out of here. I don't need to deal with that. Goodbye. All right. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going fishing for treasure. Treasure fishing, as some may call it. There we go. Come Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I got what I needed. It's an EX treasure chest, so that should be perfect. Island lobster shirt, baby. Island lobster shirt. How fun. Okay. Got the garb of the winds. <sighs> What's next? 
and then I'm teleporting out of here so I don't have to deal with that Octorok again. In the Swamp of the Valley of the Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. Alright, well, south of Dueling Peaks is a good hint. Swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, though? That's a little less specific to me. Swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees? Dueling Peaks is far away from any sort of swamp I could think of. Let me see. So, Dueling Peaks is right over... Right by Kakariko Village. I just had it. Right over here. No. It should be north. Well, okay. So, I was just here. So, this couldn't be it. Any more? Is it this? Because Dueling Peaks is just north of this. It, mu it must be this. It's the closest thing to a swamp that's south of Dueling Peaks. Alright, well, I'll warp here and see what I can find. I am currently heading south of Dueling Peaks. And in case it wasn't incredibly obvious, I put my rabbit head back on. I also decided to put on the Island Lobster shirt in combination because it seemed kind of funny. Oh, I see. This is a swamp. Okay. Got it. I don't think I was here otherwise. Except when I had to find one or two Korok seeds. So, I... This, this location is not extremely noteworthy to me. But hey, if there's a DLC quest here, then I guess it's more noteworthy to me now. Let's see. There's a treasure chest somewhere around here. And then, I forget, can I use Cryonis over here? I could. It's not really water, but it is a liquid. Okay, cool. I don't want to go inside this liquid, though. I think it kills me. This is a treasure chest. Is this a DLC one, though? Or is this just a regular treasure chest? Let me see. Hup. There we go. Oh, that's a DLC treasure chest. Okay, you know what I want to do then? While I have this rabbit head on and all this other goofy gear around me, let's go ahead and take a beautiful thumbnail shot! There we go. Line that up right between the trees. There you go. Let's let's get a few poses, huh? So here's this pose. And then I'll go ahead and get a pose from the other side because usually the bottom left corner of my thumbnails is occupied by a picture of me. There we go. Yay! We have thumbnail options! Cool. Now let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. We got Zant's helmet! That's the dude from Twilight Princess, right? I hope that's correct or else I'm going to be a real fool. In case it wasn't obvious, I don't play many Zelda games. But that ability is nice. Unfreezable? Oh, that would have been so good when I was taking on the stone taluses. But that's okay. I'll take it now. Okay. What's up next? Dark armor. Ah, oh, three pieces. At the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Lake Floria, and at the broken stone bird of Ibarra Forest. Okay, well, two of these are by Floria River. Hopefully the third one's not too far away. Let me see. So this is at the top of a waterfall. This is, yeah, the Floria Bridge is there. There's one at the top of a waterfall. And I'll find that third piece shortly afterward. Oh, wait. It wasn't just at the top of a waterfall, right? It was at the top of three waterfalls. I don't think that was three waterfalls. I think that was just a waterfall. I think I just said the top of the, I, I thought it said the biggest waterfall or something. One's by a waterfall, one's by a bridge, one's by a statue. Let me, let me... Let me reread this. Let me read the fine print before I get lost trying to find these. Okay. So, that's definitely Floria Bridge. I don't think this is correct. I think I had to put it at the top of three waterfalls. So it was... That's one water... Okay, th this is three waterfalls right up here. Does up here seem correct? I think it's correct. Let's try that out. And then there's one around... Let's just start with the... Yeah, there's no other pair of three waterfalls. Let's just start with that one for now. I think I messed this up. Because I'm at the top of the three waterfalls, like it said. And it's... There's not a treasure chest around here that has the DLC stuff in it. Found another random treasure chest. But it didn't have the stuff I want. Let me read it again. At the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. That's where I am. Highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. <sighs> Maybe it's by the waterfall, but not actually at the top of it. Like, maybe it's at the bottom of it. Let me... Let me try going down. Or maybe this isn't it. Oh, wait, there's something down there, though. There's a treasure chest down there. Is that it? There's nothing else up here. <sighs> let me think, let me think, let me think. All right, yeah, I mean, what else am I going to do, right? Let me work my way backwards. There's, there's nothing else. I'll get this treasure chest for future reference, and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about my treasure radar tracking onto it. So here we go. There's a big rock here. There's a treasure chest here. Ah, uh, please tell me this is it. All right, come on. I messed that up. I did not mean to swim underneath it. Well, maybe I can pick up the treasure chest from the land anyway. Oh, nope. I don't need that Octorok shooting at me. That's, that's, 
That's okay. I don't need an Octorok shooting at me anytime I go by water. Okay. Anytime I go by water and anytime I'm buying water. Anytime I purchase water, I don't need an Octorok shooting at me. You understand. Oh my goodness. Okay. Give me this. What's in here? Ah, I got the skull. That's right. This is a three-part set. 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 This is the three-part set. I got the Ganon skull. Oh, okay. In case it wasn't obvious. It's a little hard to focus when there's an Octorok shooting at you. Okay, now this next one is at the bridge between the small waterfalls over Lake Floria. Well, this is a bridge. Is this between the small waterfalls? There's not another bridge? Because I, I gotta be really specific with these. Between the small waterfalls. It's not referring to this, is it? That's a bridge, and I think those are waterfalls. Oh my goodness, if that's the correct bridge, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill an Octorok. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see if it's the correct bridge. Oh my goodness, I think it's the correct bridge. Oh man, I'm both happy and annoyed that I figured this out. Because there's such a big bridge at Floria Lake. And yet it's like, oh no, you gotta go to the small one. Also this fish, I'll, I'll take you with me. Here we go, this is it. Well, I'm glad I found it. There we go, Phantom Ganon armor. Now I just have to find the leggings. Alright, where did it say it was? Let me, let me look at the hint again. Let's see. We need at the broken stone bird of Ibarra Forest. Well, where's Ibarra Forest? Is it around here? It is. Ibarra Forest is right there. You're telling me there's a broken stone bird around here? Well, I'll go ahead and have a look-see, huh? I guess that could qualify as broken, but that's not a broken stone bird. It's a broken stone pillar. Is there a broken stone bird? I don't know. Is it this? Is this supposed to be a bird? These are stone things. Let me see. These are statues of some sort, right? It's got a funny looking design. Oh, I mean, my treasure chest radar is going off, but... I mean, it's pretty likely to be a treasure chest hidden around here anyway, right? Is this, a, is this a bird? Is this a stone bird? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not seeing talons. Oh, maybe it is a bird. Oh, maybe this is a, an owl. Okay. I was looking for talons. I guess I should have been looking at the face, huh? Okay, is there, there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. Let me see. Oh, that, that's a treasure chest. Let's go ahead and pick this up, huh? And there's an Octorok right there. I'm not going to mess with the Octorok. All right, let me see. This is it! I got the Phantom Ganon set! Whoop, whoop! Now I could look like Ganon if I wanted to. But I've got other tasks ahead. I will look like Ganon at another time. For now, let's move on to the next side quest, huh? Oh, man. Oh, okay, so not that one. We're not doing Trial of the Sword just yet. That'll be the next part, because that's a that's a big one. So we're gonna do teleportation rumors. Apparently South Akala Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Mill EX, which details some rumors about this rare item. Okay, it allows you to instantly travel to wherever you placed it? So I can, t I can bring my horse wherever I want. This, and then this will allow me to teleport to wherever I set this object down. So if I randomly set it down in the Lanayru region, I can teleport back to the, to the Lanayru region. Because if that's true, that sounds freaking awesome. You're telling me I can teleport around the map? That if some place is inconvenient for me, I can just set this little object down and be like, Oh, I'll come back here whenever I want. Because that's cool. It sounds a little broken, but it's a DLC item and you gotta go through a quest to get it anyway. And it's meant for convenience, not overpoweredness. So I suppose that that's fine. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This might work out. This, this could be great. Okay. Let's me see then. How about... I go ahead and look inside of the stable. That's the whole reason I'm here in the first place. Go inside the stable, read the book, and see where I can find this teleportation pad, huh? Let's go ahead and have a quick read. What you got for me now, Tracy? This is only volume two. Tracy here, no matter where I go, I, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is... The DREAM OF TELEPORTATION! Apparently, there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. Wherever you placed it, huh? What's more, this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear the treasure chest containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in northeast Akala. Beneath a labyrinth in northeast Akala. I think I know what it's referring to. Is it true, or just a beautiful dream? I'll let you decide that for yourself, dear reader. Thank you, Tracy. You respect the reader, and I can appreciate that. 
A labyrinth? Well, there's been a few labyrinths throughout Hyrule, and if I recall looking at the map correctly, there is a labyrinth here on the top right, and it's beneath this? Well, hopefully I can just teleport back here, and I can get beneath the labyrinth immediately, because if I have to approach it from the outside again and look for something in the labyrinth that acts as... If I have to look for, like, a staircase that takes me down and it's hidden randomly in the labyrinth, that's going to be a little frustrating. This item better be worth it if that's the case. This, but this item better be worth it regardless, but hopefully getting beneath the labyrinth isn't too much of a problem. In fact, I think... I think it's coming back to me now. I think I fell underneath the labyrinth by accident. Isn't there, there just like a wind vent or something? Let me see. In northeast Akala, hidden beneath the labyrinth. That's it. No other cryptic clues. Yeah, I think I fell down here once, and then a bunch of guardians started shooting at me, and then I had to get out of here. Does memory serve me right? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna put on my guardian gear, uh, that's not guardian gear, that's phantom armor, that's another DLC quest that I had to do in this part, and for some reason I got one of the armor pieces early. I need, I need, I need, I need that, and, uh, mm, oh, I just had my guardian armor, where is it? It's, oh, it's right next to the diamond circle. I need these, oh, these are maxed out already, that's good. Okay, hey, if you guys all shoot at me at once, I can hopefully take a couple hits. Okay! I just, ah, oh, okay, I just need a teleportation pad. I understand you probably don't have anything better to do because you've lost all your limbs. Oh. Mmm, you've probably been waiting for this day, huh? This is no good. I just need this. Okay. Thank goodness I have this armor, and thank goodness I have Mipha's Grace on backup. I'm gonna eat one of these full recovery meals, just in case. Full recovery. Plus 15 hearts, in case I ever needed that many more. Oh. Okay, I'm okay. Give me this. Thank you. Got it! Travel medallion! This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. Yeah, so I can just set this down and then travel to wherever I drop it. Boom, baby. Okay, is there another treasure chest down here? Because my radar seems to imply that there is. I'm gonna spend a second looking for it, and then I'm getting the heck out of here. Oh my goodness, this is actually kind of cool now that I can individually dodge them. Can I make them hit each other? I'm sure the short answer is yes, but that'd be very tricky to pull off. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you. I got my travel medallion. That's cool. That's very cool. I'll use that in the future, but not in this part. Okay, not trial of the sword. So fairy clothes is up next. I've already found one of these fairy clothes pieces by accident at one point. So I apologize. I randomly found DLC treasure chests throughout my journey. But as for the other two, they're going to be in the ruins of Hyrule Field. So that's where I shall look. So they are located and the various ruins of the field. So there's the exchange ruins here. So let's go ahead and check out the exchange ruins. Here we go. I am shield surfing. I could just call my horse. Yeah, look at this. Oh, see, now we're gonna match. I've got my guardian gear on, you've got your guardian armor on. This is great. Now we match. Oh, we're so cute together. Look at this. It worked out. I knew it was only a matter of time before our gear more properly matched. Okay, well, if nothing else, there's definitely a treasure chest over here. I just have to hope that it's the DLC extra treasure chest that I'm looking for. So let me go ahead and have a look. Oh, there's you. Goodbye, I'm gonna break your skull in so you don't have to attack me anymore. That sounded a lot more aggressive than I thought, but sometimes things just sound aggressive when I don't mean for them to sound aggressive. That's life, I guess. Let me see what else is around here. Not this treasure chest. A treasure chest. What is it? Where? Oh! There's a treasure chest over here, by a Korok seed, because it would be by the Korok seed. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and open this one up. I'm not in the mood to get attacked by somebody. Tingle's hood! That's right, this is the Tingle outfit. Well, I'll go ahead and put this on once I get all the pieces. So that's the hood. Now the last one I'm missing. Let me see. What is the last one I'm missing? So I have the tights and the hood, so I'm missing the actual suit, the, the body. So that would be the second hint. And the second hint is, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned. Where sinners were imprisoned. Well, imprisoned is probably the key word here. And there is a prison area uh, up here. Castletown Prison. So I'm going to go ahead and investigate over here. I'm freaking dressed as Tingle and I'm sneaking into the most dangerous part of the map. Essentially. Alright, here we go. I'm here to take you down. Alright. Fear the wrath of a guy dressed in tights. Fear the guy that looks like an elf. Yeah, woo, hey. There you go, I chopped off your limbs. Yeah, elves can be dangerous. Elves can be dangerous. Sorry, it's not elves. 
It's elves because the word ends with an F and most words that end with an F can be pluralized with a V instead because that's English grammar. Okay, is there a treasure chest around here? I don't have to worry about that pesky guardian any longer. Let's see. Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. It was right here. So it's a good thing I took out the guardian because it would have been shooting at me as I tried to pull this out. So this should be the last thing that I need. Yes? Here we go! Tingle shirt! Kulu Limpa! I got all the tingle parts! All the tingle parts. They make me tingle. All right, let's go ahead and put on the tingle shirt so I can really look like tingle. Here we go. Put this on. Night speed up? If you put on all the tingle parts, you get night speed up? Oh my goodness. All right, well, at least if I want to run around at nighttime, I have two options. I can use the Dark Link outfit and look like the awesome epic Dark Link, or I can put on the tingle outfit. Look like tingle. What's the next side quest? Not Trial of the Sword. Okay, so I've got two more. I've got Phantasma and I've got Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, with regards to Phantasma, I believe that's referring to the, 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 I think it's just called Phantom Gear. It makes me look like a soldier from The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, or Spirit Tracks. Now, I already have one of the pieces, and I have the bodysuit, so I need the other two. At a battleground where Brave Souls tested their skills, and at another ruins place of some sort. So, this is Sacred Ground Ruins. Is it at a battleground where Brave Souls tested their skill? And at more ruins. Okay, well, it's talking about the Phantom. Phantom! Is that what I said earlier? Yeah, Phantom Gear. So I've got the body part. I just need the helmet and the leggings. Okay, let's do it! So, I figured the Colosseum is a place where people fought for their souls, right? And there's a Lionel here? Okay. Let me fight the Lionel real quickly. Here you go, you're not gonna roar at me because I'm gonna get first strike. Oh, and I've already used up my Master Sword. I'm a little bit handicapped, but I'll be okay. Whew, all right. Almost done with you. This should be the final blow. Yeah, I beat the Lionel. Didn't have to, but I did it. I don't need that weapon anymore. That's gotta be close to being done. I'll take your Flame Blade. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I beat the Lionel. That's just good to do every once in a while. Now, the main reason I was here was to find the treasure chest, and there appears to be a treasure chest in the back of the Colosseum. So hooray! I think I've done it! I will take this, thank you. Oh, oops, a little too far. I'll take this, let's go. It is the Phantom Helmet, yay, I was correct! So I got the helmet, I've got the, the armor, now I need the leggings. And the leggings were at some sort of ruins place, right? Let me put this on, let me put on the armor too. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, I'm a big boy now. Okay, let's get those leggings. So at this point, I'm just gonna visit any place that has the word ruins on it and hope that I can find the exact treasure chest that I need. There is a treasure chest somewhere around here and much like the previous treasure chest that I found in this part, I can only hope that's the treasure chest that I need. Hopefully I don't die trying to get to it. All right, Guardian, look, last time I fought a Guardian as Tingle, this time I'm a freaking phantom. Eva's grace is used up. I'm- you're going down, bub! I will fight you. I will fight you! Alright, well, I think this is it for you. Good game. <laughs> but, I still- <laughs> I still have a major task at hand. I have to find this treasure chest! Alright, Hyrule Garrison Ruins. There's a treasure chest somewhere around here. I just have to locate it. I'm a phantom! I'm moving around in the daylight. Ooh, uh, I don't want to have to fight all you guardians, but if that's what I must do, then so be it. I'll fight you limb by limb. Uh, yeah, there we go. That did a number on you. Oh, look how much damage I'm doing because the phantom armor gives me an attack boost and this weapon's already super strong. Oh yeah, there you go. Stay put for a few more seconds, please. If you could please. Oh, okay. Let's go again. Yeah, there it is, and right in the eye to finish you off. Ah, uh, close enough to the eye. It was a bomb arrow, so the explosion got you. There we go. Great. But the task still remains. I'm no closer to finding this treasure chest, unless I am physically closer because it's in this direction. There's a treasure chest somewhere around here. My radar was going a little crazy. Come on. It's got to be close. Magnesis. No, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Uh, uh, is it by the Guardian? Or is it under the Guardian? There's it. There, here we go. What's this? Oh, hey! This is actually it! <laughs> this is a DLC treasure chest. Phantom leggings? Phantom Graves! Got it! 
these groups look just like the ones they're supposed to, that they supposedly wore. Okay, let's go ahead and put them on. There we go. EX Treasure Phantasma is done. <sighs> that leaves one DLC side quest besides the Trial of the Sword, and that's the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one. The one that's been available since the game launched. Now, this side quest, as far as I know, looks a bit... functions a bit differently than the other side quests. Okay, I'm ready to take it on. So, the, I have to go to the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge, the eastern sky from the skull's left eye, the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall Pierce snowy mountain. I have to go to these three locations. Okay, so we're gonna... the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Well, the largest bridge is the one by Lake Hylia. So, let's go ahead and mark that. And then it wanted me to go to the skull's left eye. Skull's left eye. I recall there being a skull rock formation. I think it is just called skull rock. Skull rock. I think that's near the top. Uh, yeah, right here. Skull's left eye. Oops. Well, let me make sure. Skull's left eye and then the southeastern sky from the mountain that pierces the heavens. Yeah. So here we go. Where was it? It was just here. There we go. Gut check rock. And then Skull Lake. Okay, so the Skull's left eye. Okay. Well, let's go to Lake Hylia first and get the first piece of this side quest puzzle because it's the one that I know so far. So, Lake Hylia, and then I have to look south. That sounds simple enough. All right, I'm at the bridge. Got the wood. Creating the fireplace. And we're going to go to the nighttime because it's, it's going to be a shooting star, right? In this game, you can only see the shooting stars at night. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure in real life you can only see shooting stars at night. Oh, why does it have to rain? I think that removes the chance of it happening. Ugh. I just have to wait out the rain. That's a bummer. It means if I also want to make sure I don't get struck by lightning, I gotta put this lightning helm on. Alright, well, we're gonna look south until the lightning storm ends. Ugh. But basically, as far as I can tell, this is gonna function similar to that of a star fragment. It's gonna be a random object that falls from the sky. And then I have to go over to where it falls, and in, wherever I'm looking, it will show up in my field view. But I guess these objects are only going to show up in a specific place. There we go, I, I got struck by lightning, I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, look in this direction, wait for a star fragment to fall, I guess. <sighs> oh, I think I heard something. No, never mind, I didn't hear anything. Wait! 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 I did hear something! Alright, I got my controller! I put it down for a sec, I was kicking back, I got it! I got it, that's it, that's exactly what I needed. It does function exactly like a star fragment, except it's, it's red. Okay, I don't really want to have to fight you right now, I'm a little busy. Okay, right there. Right there, that's not too far away. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, is, is this just gonna be a piece of armor that fell from the sky? <laughs> And for some reason it didn't get burnt up? Because if, if it didn't get burnt up, that's some sturdy armor and it better be flame resistant. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. This is cool. Oh, it's, it's a treasure chest with a red glow on it. I kind of want to take a picture of it and use it for my Hyrule Compendium. Let me see. Let me go. Oops, I have, to, I have to remember how to change stuff. So it's camera. There we go. Yep, nope, it's that. Yeah, this is going to be my new treasure chest pick. Because I'm pretty sure this is the only treasure chest... Or at least one of three treasure chests that looks like that. Boom. Alright, what's inside? Just a rare item? Salvager headwear. Oh, this is a full armor set. For some reason, I thought I was only getting the shirt. I thought it was just a shirt. I didn't... It's, it's Xenoblade 2. It's a full Xenoblade 2 costume. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, in collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 because Monolith Soft was the developer for both of these games. For Xenoblade 2 and Breath of the Wild. Okay, so the other one was on the Skull Lake left eye. So let's go ahead and warp over there. Oops, okay, I, I, I slightly messed it up. It's on the Skull's left eye, not the left based on the map. The Skull's left eye. So this is the Skull's left eye, which makes sense because it's the higher platform. And then if I look east... Oh, wait, I think I already hear it. Hang on. Here, yeah. Wow, that was a lot quicker than the other one. This one didn't immediately show up. All right. To the red mark! Here we go! Two red marks. Well, that red mark is showing up because of the treasure chest. The other red mark I set will not be visible unless I go back into my first person view. But to the red marks! Plural! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get that red. Get that red. Get the next part of the Xenoblade outfit. I also realize the headgear is a helmet that kind of 
dangles behind me. That's that's kind of cute. I look I look so silly with this exact set of armor on. I'm, I got I have such a thick body and such strong leggings, and I've got this random helmet dangling behind me. I, and my head is so tiny by comparison. It just looks funny. Oh, that red glow is very cool though. And to think I could have done this side quest from the very beginning of the game. I just didn't. That's okay. It's better that I'm doing it now because that way I have the map filled in and I have a better understanding of where these things are. There we go. The salvager vest. So I guess this is just called the salvager outfit. So I have the headgear. I've got the vest. Now I must get the leggings. There we go. Now this outfit seems much more appropriate. It seems like it's meant to fit Link. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead for your guys' benefit because I screwed this up. I went to the top of the wrong mountain. This third Xenoblade Chronicles piece is at the top of the mountain that pierces the sky, and, you ha and I had to look southeast. But I went to the southeast part of the map and went to the mountain that's over there, because there is a very tall mountain that's over there. But it was referring to this mountain. So that's my mistake. It was referring to the mountain that was up here in the top left corner of the map. And now I'm going to go ahead and climb to the top of it. <sighs> ah, this has been a part, huh? Oh, well, as soon as I get this Xenoblade piece, that'll be the end of it. Just gotta look southeast and wait for this red star to fall. And then collect the red star, get the final Xenoblade 2 piece, and then I'll be done with every side quest in the game except for one. Woo! Why well, isn't it showing up? Why well, isn't it showing up? Maybe I'm not looking southeast enough. Is that the problem? Is that the prop? Is that really the problem? Was that really what it was? Doggone it. Well, I'm glad it's here now. And it's landing down there. Okay, well, I'm shield surfing down. Woo! Oh, oh! I'm taking damage. That's okay. I've got Mipha's Grace in the back just in case. Here we go. Woo! Oh, yep. There it goes. There we go. Yep. Yes. Cool. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, then. This should be the final extra piece of gear that I'll be getting for the DLC of this game. Awesome stuff. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got salvager trousers. Now the whole outfit can come together. Hooray. What do you say I go ahead and warp over to wherever this next DLC quest is going to take me because it's going to be the focus of the next part. Look at that. 89 of 97 side quests clear. That's what I'm talking about. Korok Forest. Because I'm going to take on the Trial of the Sword next. All right, what do you say I go ahead and warp on over to the Korok Forest, and then when I get there, I'll go ahead and put on these trousers so I look like the protagonist of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and then I will go ahead and end this part. Whew! It's been a bit exhausting for me. Hopefully it's been somewhat entertaining for you guys. I got a horse saddle and a horse bridle and a bunch of pieces of armor and got a teleportation pad, and I got an outfit that makes me look like Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I've been playing for... Two hours now? I really have to trim down this part. I really have to trim down this part. But okay, folks! I did it! Those are the side quests. And then I will take on all the other DLC in this game throughout the next couple of parts. And then this walkthrough will finally be over! It's been a fun game, but I've been playing it for over two years now, and I'm ready to move on to something else. But for now, let's go ahead and look at this outfit! This outfit that was accessible since the beginning of the freaking game, and I only got it now. 108 parts into this walkthrough, two years later. <sighs> but for now, that wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I begin taking on the Trial of the Sword. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey everyone, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe icon underneath the video. Be sure to click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is out. Also, one of the best ways to support me is to follow me on Twitter. On there, you can see announcements, updates, and previews for all of my upcoming content. My tag is at Ryu Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Whoosh!